I love how this turned out. Now hopefully that'll keep everybody off my driveway or off my yard right here where they were killing my yard. But absolutely love how this turned out. So nice. and get the inspection done oh. before the end of the month. Reminder. It means we're going to have to drive it. Oh. It means we're going to have to cruise around Damn in it. it. <laughs> Elsie's looking at us. Hi, Elsie. Hey, girl. <laughs> she's got that big old smile. You got a big old smile. Doesn't that just make you want to have a great day? She just, She's just happy it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> but when you look at that, can't you just want yeah, to smile? Yeah, that's how they get you. Can you imagine if they had a frowny a frowny cow? <laughs> right. No, it's so happy. Anyways, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's wacky Wednesday. I went to my husband's PT appointment with him. You know, we're going to start more rigorous, harder uh -huh. therapy, right? Rehab. And uh, I, I just love this guy because he's so positive about everything. Chase Banks, chiropractor, has an amazing rehab studio called Finish First. Anyways, he was talking to my husband about his pain, you know, because my husband's like, well, they still have back pain. And he's like, you're going to still have back pain because when they did the fusion, because you were bone on bone, when they did the fusion, they put you in traction and everywhere there should have been a disc, which he doesn't have discs anymore, they have to put a spacer block spacer mm -hmm. and then they fused him together so he said what happened when your back was bone on bone all of your nerves were shrinking down into your spinal column everything was just tight wow. shrinking now that you've been in traction and you're you've got block spacers in there your spine's being stretched again so those nerves are having to be stretched out which is causing you to still have nerve pain he said but what you have to differentiate between is good pain and bad pain because mm -hmm. there is such a thing as good pain and bad pain what you're experiencing now is called good pain because your nerves are stretching mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. like they're supposed to be after being scrunched together so it's a good pain and you need to look at it as though it's a good pain not like oh my god i'm in so much pain right. yes it's, it is pain but it's a good pain right a bad pain is when you're hurt when I cut my hand, it becomes mm -hmm. a bad pain, mm -hmm. right? So anyways, he says, you just have to look at each day, like when you wake up today and go, hey, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I've got this good pain going on, but it's gonna be a good day. I'm going to, I'm not gonna focus on it. Because he said, when you focus on things like that, you can intensify the pain. Because you're dwelling so much on it. Like, oh my God, I'm in so much pain. Oh my God, I hurt so bad. Ugh. And it just ruins your day, ruins your demeanor, and you just keep focusing on it. Whereas if you go, it's a good pain, my back is improving, it's a good pain. Right. And and you gotta just, but it's, I, I just love him because he's so much like me. I'm like, I've, I've known him for over 15 years. I just, he's such a good guy. I mean like, uh, if you ever need a good chiropractor or a good rehab center here in uh, the Houston area, Chase Banks, his, his practice is called fi uh, Finish First. And they are, Amazing, amazing, amazing. Anyways, back to Wacky Wednesday. Um, and so, sorry about that. Lamar has to start doing water therapy. Oh. You know, I built the pool for him. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Chase is like, have you been in that pool yet? Lamar's like, oh, maybe twice in a year. Chase says, well, you're going to be in it every day for the next four weeks. Okay. Lamar's like, well, it's going to get cold. Mm. <laughs> you got another four weeks of uh -huh. beautiful weather. Uh-huh before it starts to get real cold right. or chilly or whatever. Right. So we ordered him an aqua belt. One will arrive today, one will arrive Friday. Yay. 
you can choose yeah. between the two. But the aqua belt will allow him to have this flotation device around his waist, mm -hmm. and he can be in the water and pretend like he's running or swimming or whatever in the, in the deep end. Because Chase Banks said, in order for things to heal, you have to have blood flow. Mm -hmm. That's why people that are bedridden uh -huh. tend to... Don't come at me if I'm saying this wrong, guys, but people that are very very sedentary, they don't heal as fast as somebody that moves mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. there's no blood flow. Everything is just laying there. Right. It's like your cut. Okay, take a cut. Like, here. If you kept a Band-Aid on a cut forever and ever and ever, that sore or that cut or whatever would stay fresh. But when you take the Band-Aid off and let air get to it, it heals much faster. So it's the same thing with blood flow. Blood flow is needed to get oxygen to things to heal. And so Chase said, in order for your nerves to heal and for everything to heal, we need blood flow. And the longer you lay in bed and the longer you sit in a chair and don't move, we don't have blood flow. Right. That's why it's so important to move, 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 move. That's why they told him walking is you're going to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. Get the blood flowing, get the blood flowing, get the blood flowing. So we're also going to be doing it in the pool. Anyways, back to Wacky Wednesday. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at school. I feel like I was like, should I be taking notes? or <laughs> <laughs> Keep it moving. When was blood last time? Flow. When, when... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Wacky Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday. Uh, we have got to show you guys how I pack. They're like, really? We don't really give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm headed to Vail. So this is going to be interesting because while I'm in Vail, there's a heat wave here. 100, <laughs> 100 degrees. I'd rather be here. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> I don't like the cold. So we're going to see how good I can pack with winter type clothing yeah because winter clothes take up more room than summer clothes oh i want to put some cute outfits together so as soon as we get back to the house because we're dropping the last uh -huh. of the mystery boxes ah, off. finally they're done and this is the last load Goodbye. i took i took so many yesterday i think they were overloaded when i walked in the door they were looking like looking at me like i mean i must have had a couple hundred you had a huge yesterday. drop off yesterday oh, god dang like they're there was they're, a they're lot. probably still processing them this morning. Yeah. But we're, we've got the last big black bag full and a box. And so we're going to be dropping those off. And when we get back to the house, we are going to put some cute winter. I don't know how cute. Very cute. I well, got ideas, yeah, ideas, but if ideas. If I'm hiking, I don't really need to be in something. And if I'm horse riding, you know, you don't want to be in something ultra expensive and gorgeous. You're just riding a horse and you're going to get dirty. What if I go zip lining? <laughs> You're like, I'll just put you in everything Gucci. Uh, fashion is 24 7. <laughs> and there's so many photo ops. <laughs> uh, now we'll put you comfortable, cute, but mostly you got to enjoy yourself. A flannel shirt and a pair of jeans. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it just said, put a heel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be in heels riding horses. <laughs> right. The only, I time, the, boot. Only, the only time I need something cute is for dinner. Yeah. There I've you got, go. There I've, you got, go. I've got three nights. Well, actually, I don't even know if I got three nights. Two nights for sure. Because the night I'm flying in, I don't, my plane doesn't even arrive in Vail till like 8 o'clock at night. Oh. So they all might have already eaten by the time I arrive. So I might grab a snack while I'm in the Denver airport. Mm hmm just so that when I get there, I'm not starving, you know, because right. they might have already been. So really, all I got to worry about is Friday night, Saturday night dinner. Looking cute. Perfect. That's all the rest of the time, looks. I need to be in good walking shoes because mm -hmm. you walk a lot when you're in Vail. You walk, 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 walk. If you walk to lunch, you walk the rivers, you walk, you hike. I mean, like, so. Okay, so with the dinner outfits, we'll do them cute. Yeah, and I don't even know how much of a heel I want to wear there because what if we have to walk, walk, walk to dinner? I mean, I've been to oh, Vail. Yeah, 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 I've yeah. been to Vail before. I know what it's like to have to walk a half a mile or a mile to get to the restaurant uh -huh. from where you're staying. You know, where are you, are you up in the mountains or where are you at? <laughs> well, my friends own the penthouse in the top of the Ritz Cross. Oh, I know. I'm roughing it. <laughs> so so I'm, sure we'll, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Uh, but I'm sure. 
I don't, I'm sure we're not going to eat at the Ritz Carlton restaurants every night. I'm mm -hmm. sure we're going to take yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we're going to jump in there. No, you guys know your, yeah, what you guys but, do. But still, I'm just saying, there's walk, there's other places within walking distance. Mm -hmm. And, and so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Are you excited to get out of here? I'm kind of nervous. Why? It's going to be fine. This is the first time I've left Lamar alone with someone else in a year and a half. I trust Carolina wholeheartedly, but you know, shit happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but the saving grace is my daughter and exactly. her boyfriend are on site. Exactly. So they're here for a backup. So he just went to his cardiologist yesterday. His heart is good. Yes. His, his pacemaker is working. Yes. And doing 99.1% of the work. So that just tells you how bad he needed that pacemaker. Right. If that pacemaker is doing 99.1% of the work right now, that's pretty much that pacemaker's working all the time. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, let's get back to the house and put some cute outfits together. Let's go. Okay. So I'm thinking this, do you know how old this jacket is? It's old? Cache. Oh. 10 years, probably. It's time to cash it in. And it has been worn to death. But look, how cute. Yeah. It'll go great. Just a solid black blazer mm -hmm. with these new leather pants that we got altered. Yeah. Remember, it had stupid pleats. Yeah. It had pleats and it had pockets. We took out the pleat, we took out the pocket. They now look sleek and gorgeous. And we tapered the pencil down to where it hugs my ankle tight. So, boom. This ball main jacket. Cute. Yes. With, with a leather lapel. Put some black leather pants with it. Boom. Black Hermes boots. Yes. With okay, that. Okay, okay. And she said she wasn't going to get dressed up. Well, I'm talking for dinners. Okay. <laughs> So those are the two dinner nights. That's Friday night, Saturday night. Okay. Me like, me like. This is my flight. Okay. This is that new jacket that we just bought. I had her do extra darts, so it's very form-fitting now. We're gonna pair it with these cute pants. Ooh. These pants I got in 2010, guys. I can still wear them. <laughs> yes. 27s. Don't believe me? Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be wearing these pants on the flight because I am in first class. So Cute. we're going to look nice. We're going to wear the Louis Vuitton boots. Okay. So this is flight. This is Friday night, Saturday night dinners. So now we have to think of during the day, mm -hmm. if we're going to ride horses, do the llama trail, zip line, shop. So whatever. you're not wearing the Beaumont for the llama trail? <laughs> Might get dirty. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Got it. Little two dresses. So now <laughs> I'm thinking jeans and nice shirts. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even throw on a flannel shirt. What do you think? Can't go wrong with the flannel and some little jeans, I'm leggings. I'm not feeling the... Okay, so we're going to throw in the new sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. I call it a sweatshirt. It's very thin. <laughs> yeah. But right. remember I had Maria close up the sides. Oh yeah, so the sides, the high sides are closed up. So this will go with a black jean or a blue jean easily. So we're gonna pull out maybe a blue jean. Blue jeans, blue jeans, blue jeans. We're still waiting on handles, remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we and we're we can't really do the ripped, nasty looking just because of the company I'm going to be mm -hmm. in. So I'm going to pick some really cute AGs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, AG jeans, I buy a crap load of them. We're gonna flash up the site. Not sponsored, but should be. Okay. As that t-shirt says. Mm. <laughs> but anyways, AG sells the best jeans. The best jeans. So AG, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm This is called the Farrah Skinny Ankle. Mm. Okay. You'll notice no rips. Those are great jeans. So, I'll look appropriate. So, 
I'm going to pack two different colors, I think. This is a straight. This is a, a pencil. So... Okay, so I think I'll pack two different pairs, two kind of two different colors of blue. Good. So we're talking Friday, Saturday. You sure you don't want something a little thicker? Pants? <laughs> Sweater. Oh, well, I'm packing that. You know me, I don't do... Um, okay, I have flannel. I think we should pack a flannel just to have. I think so. Just in case. Something you won't be afraid to, like, get case spit on by the llama. <laughs> in case we're horse riding. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? And I have to have, like, a vest or something. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of wearing nice vests, I have some other vests that I'm going to go pull in here real fast and see if they'll work. Because I really don't want to wear the good vest. So, none of these will work. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh, I need to pull mine out. With some black leggings. Cute. Just to go shopping. And you won't get lost. Don't know exactly where you're at. <laughs> See, this takes up so much room in a suitcase. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you just need one, though. I know. Maybe just one sweatshirt. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Warm, right? And pull out some black leggings. We need some black leggings. Ooh, there's my black ripped up pants. I'm always scared to take black ripped up pants because, oh, look. Oh my god, I forgot I had blue. Oh, look how dusty we are. I forgot I had blue Ooh. leathers. Oh. Those are nice. Ah. ah, these look too big. But these are blue. Right? Yeah. Some navy blue. Yeah. Didn't I just do a cute new what did I just buy the other day that had navy in it? What, weren't we at the store? You bought navy pants. But I didn't buy anything with a navy top. Do you think I need to take this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought I bought something that had navy in it. The only thing I could think of was the pants. And that's why we put it with the hat with the navy detail in it. Right? But what would I want navy pants for? Mm -hmm. Unless I had some really cute top to go with it. Right. Why would I invest in blue leather pants? This is so cute for me to have those. And I got maroon too. Yes. When did I get all these pants? These are AG too. Extreme skinny. Look at that color. Ooh. Me what like. a pretty color. 28. We got all different sizes here. Why? <laughs> Maybe they all fit differently. Got like three different sizes in the same brand. That's a. Uh, I was like, what are we going for here? <laughs> <laughs> the Balenciaga sweater would be cute with it. With what? The pants you have on. <laughs> are you on track? <laughs> oh, those are all cute. And remember when I ordered all these really thin? Ah, uh, yeah. Look. Those are all so cute. Damn, I guess I got more. I guess I've been shopping this summer for winter. Okay, so look. If you don't want to go shiny, you can go, or you can go darker. And the nice thing about leggings is they roll up tiny. So look. I suddenly have three different colors of leggings I can wear with this shirt. Okay, so this shirt can go 
And I've got three different colors that I can wear. Yes. Pick all three or pick one or two or whatever. It doesn't matter. But these all go. And I can wear black. Mm-hmm. Okay. So literally, the question is, I'm gonna take two pairs of I'm gonna take two pairs of jeans. We're trying to figure out how big the suitcase is. <laughs> <laughs> that is the ultimate question. How big does the suitcase really need to be? So that's why we're trying to figure out what I'm taking as to how much suitcase I need. So we already know this is an outfit. We already know we're taking our flannel to be on the safe side mm -hmm. in case we're horse riding. So that's another outfit. Look, there you go. Boom. So I already think I, and, and I might, might either take the fluorescent green one mm -hmm. or the gray one just to have a sweatshirt in case it's really chilly. Yes. And the gray one will go with Literally. versus the fluorescent one. True. So now we have a sweatshirt and I'm gonna grab one of my vests that you can wear with jeans and shit that will look good. Mm -hmm. And then all we have to do is Grab a scarf, or two, or three, or four, or whatever we're gonna do. Which scarves? Yes, we're waiting on the handle, guys. <laughs> a plethora of scarves, but I'm thinking maybe this one, because I'm gonna want to wear it on the plane. To have a scarf, mm -hmm. so when I land, if it's really, really, really cold, I've got a scarf and I'm all color coordinated. But I think on top of that one, I will pack this even warmer one. This Hermes, so that I have an even warmer one to wrap around my neck if it's too chilly. Perfect. So. I need a pair of tennis shoes for walking. And I think, I hope I've broke them in enough. That's the problem with taking shoes that you haven't broke in good enough. Mm -hmm. You're gonna end up with, you're gonna end up with blisters. If they're not broken enough, especially if you're doing a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these because they're so freaking cute, or I take a different one that I've worn more that aren't going to blister my feet. Exactly. Because I've really only worn these like a couple times. Yeah. All of my memes are just too flashy. <laughs> <laughs> Could get by with those though. Yeah. And these are black. Probably goes a bit more comfortable. Than these. Mm -hmm. And they're black. So they're going to go with everything. I Cute. Get by with, I could get by with wearing them with this if I had to. Cute. Even with these leggings. So what do you think? And they kind of look a little blingy with the silver. Yeah. Through, you know. Yeah? What do you think? I think you got it. And then now we just need a crossbody so that I'm not carrying my Hermes everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we just gotta figure a cute crossbody that we want. Now you know this can be worn as a crossbody because it has a long strap. Right. Right. 
cute. So this might be cute because it holds quite a bit. Right. The, the one thing I hate about about crossbodies is sometimes they're too small. Mm -hmm. Although that wouldn't be a cute crossbody to wear. This one might not look right. Put some stuff in it. Oh, that's cute. I think it's cute. That's one thing I noticed about this closet is I don't have as many mirrors. <laughs> oh. I have to literally come up front. Oh, yeah. In my other closet, no matter where I turned, I had a mirror. I had a mirror. This is cute, though. I love it. Plus, you're going to hold a lot more than any other. But I can put my heavy ass wallet in here. Mm hmm. And some other stuff and still get away with it, you know? And so, it kind of folds flat. So cute. So then, I just think we, uh, Yes. Looky there. I might get by with the medium suitcase. We might not need the big, big Bertha. Remember, I just got those orange suitcases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus, I'm gonna have a carry-on. Yeah, yeah, plenty. I'll probably take my black Chanel carry-on. Because black will go better with orange. <laughs> Although I'm opted to take the Supreme. But red and orange don't go together very well. Either or. It's going to look stunning. But I don't have to take the orange. I can always take the gray, mm -hmm. the burgundy. You know, I have so much stupid suitcases up there. I have a <laughs> plethora of suitcases. <laughs> so I have a lot to choose from. So... I could take any one of my carry-ons and be just fine. So, what do you guys think? You did good. I think I did good. Yes. I like all the looks. I think I'll be warm enough. I think I got some good looks. I got some good looks for dinner. You're only forgetting one thing that you need to take. Ah, it's this pink one right here. You can Don't take you think I'm going to look a little funny? <laughs> Standing at the airport or in this 90, one. 92 degree weather. Or this one. And I got this big ass, and I'm I'm carrying this big ass fur. No, you look good. <laughs> and I gotta go, bitch. Do you know it's 96 <laughs> degrees now? I'm like, yeah, but I'm going somewhere really cold. The people in Vargan be like, it's not even that cold. And you know if I pack it in my suitcase, that suitcase is gonna get lost. Oh. And then you got a twenty thousand dollar fur Oof. lost. Okay, fine. Never so mind. we don't want to pack that. The that next way. trip, then. If we go somewhere cold, I'm making you take that pink one. <laughs> I'd be more apt. <laughs> instead of a pink one, I would be more apt to take this one if I had to take a photo. Oh. This would be cute. Yeah. So I just have to decide if I'm going to lug something like this or I. If I'd be better off to just take something like this Ooh. and pack this because it's light. Yeah. Just in case it's cold. Mm -hmm. Because this this could get lost and I'm not going to die. Yeah. If my suitcase got lost. And this is easy to throw on with any of that stuff. Literally. And it'll give me ample warmth. This is what I wanted to see. <laughs> so, if I have enough room in my suitcase, I can throw this in. There you go. Or I can even put it in my carry-on. Because my carry-on is just going to have jewelry. There you go. My laptop. So, if I had to, this would be what I would carry. Because everything else, I've got jackets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this would be the one thing that would be warmer. So, I might, I might take this. Just in case. No, I don't do well in 30 degree weather. <laughs> I just don't. Okay, guys. So let's go see what we got going on at the ranch. Let's go. I still don't see no pumpkins out here. That's because they blend in with the house now. Where are they? Where are you? They're not right or Oh, my God. <gasps> wow. Are yeah. these the same ones? They look good. 
much better. Is that what you did over the weekend? Yes. <laughs> I said, paint these damn orange things. Give me some white. OMG, so much better. Okay, goes in my house. Told you. They're out there spraying cabinets, so why not just spray my pumpkins? I'm very happy. See? So instead of having to give them to you, <laughs> they at least go with my house now. Yes! yes! Considering I hate Halloween. <laughs> What do you think? Fashion icon today? Yes, I love it. Such a good look. Which ones are these? The ones with the cows? Yes. Yes. And I'm only wearing this shit because today when they were doing my garden area, they found a very poisonous snake. Uh, now, mind you, I was just out there earlier in my flip-flops <laughs> showing them where to put all the plants. Oh, no. So how I didn't get bit with my flip-flops on i don't know oh no but they have since found the snake and killed it so i said well maybe when there's one there might be two <laughs> or a family so let's just wear the rubber boots <laughs> so i'm protected but fab's not so yeah my ankles are out they're, they're gonna get you, he'll, he'll, he'll strike up and get you on no the so you see how i have all of this mixture of vegetation mm -hmm. it's very lush it's very mixed it's gorgeous so i said because we're going to put that that bigger window in. Mm -hmm. I said, how about we add more vegetation so it looks like the front of my house. So, today, with my flip-flops on, <laughs> I came out and positioned all of the plants. And they have since planted all the plants. So, now, this area is very lush wow. and full. We didn't put rose bushes in because roses need a lot of light, mm. a lot of sun. You'll notice this area gets a lot of shade. Right. The trees are positioned perfectly to where they still get sun, but we needed to put plants in here that didn't need direct sun or a lot of sun if they could handle a lot of shade too. Mm -hmm. So the rose bushes are over here getting lots of sun. I'm like, I hear something rattling. <laughs> walk in there no <laughs> so anyways when they put that bigger window in now because remember we're going to put that one upstairs oh yes when they put the bigger window in it's going to come down lower uh-huh so you'll be able to stare out here and at night it's all lit up with the trees and everything it's, it's very very pretty so this we finished the atrium it's i know you're hearing everything right <laughs> the bat that's living in my gutter system. oh great yeah and they don't hurt you. They, they're scared of you. Yeah. There's families of bats. There's all kinds everywhere. of stuff out here. But anyways, that got done. And now we need to head to the barn because they are tearing out wood. Oh. And tearing out walls. Okay. Let's go. So let's go show an update. dining room area is going to be massive oh my gosh very big yeah you don't realize how big until you start tearing it apart so just imagine this is going to get opened up all the way to that front wall and that's all going to be kitchen so you just don't even realize how big as long as there are walls up yeah so now that the walls are starting to come down we have to tear down all of the wood ceiling so the ac guy can put all of his vents in so we're not gonna keep this wood we're gonna do a different wood wow. because when they did this they used galvanized nails so the wood's not coming down in one straight piece it's getting broken and mm. that's why the trailer is filling up see at first we were gonna take down the wood save the wood re-put it back up but because they used galvanized nails they're not coming up mm. there you go. so You'll notice we're getting to keep very good. Right. We got 
Right? The fan was great. <laughs> Love it. It's a lot. So, anyways, the process has begun. They've got to put a big beam up there. They've got to tear out the whole ceiling. They've got to put another beam up there. They've got to fill all this full of cement to get all the floors level. So, it's beginning. Okay. We want to be done by Christmas. So that's the wall that comes out. So they're loading everything out of there right now. Mm -hmm. It's on that wall. And then they'll get that wall tore up. And then we're really going to start to see how big this is going to yeah. be. Okay. Yeah. Progress. Progress. Looking good. Yes. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> I love having this by our office. You can just come over here and grab a water. And what's over here? Oh, okay. First of all, I was looking for you, girl. Where were you? Where were you at? He's a slave driver, Nikki. He's not going to let you have no time off. Oh, we're not supposed to have time off, are we? Well, what are you doing over here, ma'am? Well, I was accused in my last video that um, I guess somehow people thought I was trying to tell them they should never rest or take time off. That's not what I'm saying. Uh. Y'all can do whatever the hell you want to do. But I figured I'd let everybody see that I do take periodic rests, even if it's just for 30 seconds. <laughs> playing the dog. Because <laughs> we do have this bedroom over here. So I was like, maybe I should just come in here and get a 30 second rest <laughs> to prove that I do take rests, play with the dog, <laughs> and get the hell back to work. <laughs> wow, we should put our office right here. Feel that airflow. I know that airflow in here is good. Dang. It's like, like it feels really cool. Oh, <laughs> my desk should be right yeah. here. Okay. I wonder if I can get the, the, the desk thing like this. <laughs> ah. Anyways, guys. Just to show you proof that I do sit down and rest for a couple seconds every once in a while. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Yes. I guess I should be getting ready for bail. Yes. Hello. I might need to get a nail appointment real fast. <laughs> get a fall color. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no more pink and yellow and green. So, anyways. Yeah, I came in to even watch TV. The TV's not working. <laughs> Jack had it all set up now, so already on. I'm like, God. <laughs> so, anyways, guys. I hope to vlog my ass off while I'm in Vail, Colorado. Getting refreshed. It's time. They keep telling me it's time. I hope I can relax. Yeah. And not freak out and worry about everything that's not happening here while I'm here. A little bit of a control freak. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> so, guys, anyways. Uh, what do you think, Nikki? Should we say goodbye? What are you going to do without your mommy for a couple of days? I'm going to be so sad. No mommy for three days? Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, remember... We are going to hold a lottery for peeps only. So if you're not a peeps, you will not be included in that lottery drawing to see who gets to come to the Romer Holiday yeah. Open House Fashion Show. I'm so excited. So you know, excited. we gotta start planning that. As the minute I get back, we've gotta do ticket sales. We've so gotta, excited. We've gotta, I've gotta get the tent lady out here and we gotta figure out this whole tent thing over the pool and Build the runway over the pool, and we've got so much work to do, guys. So much work. And you're going to see all that happening, too. So, you know, just when you think we're running out of things to show you. <laughs> <laughs> think again. Think never again. Think again. Down here. We, we never <laughs> slow down around here. So, with that said, see you on Friday with Fashion Friday. Yes. Bye-bye.